the Thought Zone. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. My name is Brett Camo Crocs Hanrahan. Uh, <laughs> it's not even a, like a joke, Sam. Like he's wearing them right now. No, no, um, yeah, Brett, you can't is. be. I mean, he took them off, but like I'm still looking at it. I There's, can still see it. It's right there. It's now on the table that we're recording on. It's in front of my computer for inspiration. For motivation, uh, Brett. And we are honestly, less than a minute in, and I've already blown my fucking audio out of proportion. <laughs> well, we really need to be horny during the recording, otherwise we're yeah. not going to make it through. It's too long, so we need. The... I'll be right back. I gotta grab a knife from my dresser, and I'm currently attached. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. What? Was what that are you threat? gonna cut? Was that a threat? <laughs> what are you attached to? What are you gonna slice? I had um, I had some strings on my short. On my short? Your short what? <laughs> my short. What's going on? My shorts. On oh, my short. <laughs> You're cutting them with a knife. Yeah, that's the only like thing I have. There are better ways, Sam, like scissors or something that isn't a knife. Anyway, I guess we'll let the man introduce himself. <laughs> I'm Samuel Knife God Risley. That's that's pretty presumptuous of you, Sam. Well, I'm, I mean, he has been about knives a lot lately. I'm yeah, ever since he got that knife from like the gypsy. Uh, I've gotten market. two knives from them. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Two and also Four I'm the knives. god because dungeon master. Also, I'm God, so uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah, that. The, that's just a whole separate thing. I am God. Well, you can't beat the guy who made the knife out of Jello. We all know he is. Yeah, the no, god of he knives. is the knife god. He's you not might just be a god. He's an eldritch being of unknowable origins to which we just can't comprehend. He is something he's the beyond god even the gods. Yeah, he's the god eater, Sam. You better watch out. He's the god slicer. <laughs> god slicer. He slices you and he eats you. He slices you, and then he turns you into another form in order to eat you. <laughs> and then he brings it's a you long, back like, to your week, original form. It's like a long, week-long process. Yeah. yeah. You, you have to dry for, for a couple weeks, and then... The God Eater... Uh, for, for our audience, the God Eater is a reference to our D&D campaign, which is the antagonist of... The anti-agonist. Anti-agonist. Well, we've He's got a third member who still hasn't introduced themselves... Who is it, Sam? Who is it? <laughs> it's her. Who else is on this podcast? Cyan Dragonfucker Haskins. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Okay, the title has been well, assigned. I feel like I feel like we've done that one a couple times, right? No, yeah, but that's she was okay. Vampire can... fucker last time. <laughs> so. I mean, on, well, I fucked the dragon first, and then the vampire. Well, I guess I didn't. I never. I've never fucked. I've never fucked. I've never been horny in my entire life. Hi. That's why we got this crock on the table. My name is Zion. <laughs> horny Void Haskins. Oh. I have never been horny. Did you say Horny hor- Void? <laughs> <laughs> all the horny goes into the void. Sorry. Yeah. It just I have come a out. void in me, and all the horny goes into it. I've never been horny in my entire life. There's never been one instance of arousal. Which, again, I really need to reemphasize is why we have this crock on the table, this camel crock, to try to get her horny. Yeah, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to make it through the podcast, you know? Yeah. Exactly. It's like medicine to me. I need, I need the crock. It's, my, it's, like, it's like a, a horny subsidiary. That's not the word exactly. for it. Exactly. It's like a horny IV. It's yeah, like Viagra. You just kind of... There it is. Yeah, it's <laughs> Viagra. Uh, so Cyan needs her croc Viagra, Sam needs the knives, and I need us to move on to our first segment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're not at five minutes yet. We got We got at least that's thirty more five. seconds. No, that's, that's what, five. Wait, is who like said the max? Yeah, well, I, yeah, we got it. No, it's got to be an even five. I swear to God, it's got. No, why does it have to be? Don't do this to it me. Doesn't have to. Be. We yes. can do it in a minute. Just, I'm so Brett. Something, close. something, hand or hand. Ten I'm Sam, more blah, seconds. Blah, blah, I'm Cyan blah blah Cyan. Haskins, and that's it. Who, no. who wants to go first? Uh, uh shit. I, I, uh, I can, I can uh, go. Uh, I'll go. No. 
It's no, five minutes. Let's do it. You're good. You're good. It's five minutes. You're good to go. Jesus Christ. I'm I have a lot. cut it so that it's like 4.59. No, please <laughs> don't. Please. I'm the person who has to have like my TV volume has to be at like any oh. intervals of five. My, my radio has to be the same way. Hi, Winston. Shit, my headphone fell uh, out. This is nice. Uh, <laughs> All right, can you pause on three, two, one. We are back after some uh, dog difficulties. It is. <laughs> this is now an ASMR podcast. Yes. We are going to give um, this law to you. Guys? <laughs> okay oh you're just we were just hiding from sam we yeah were doing an asmr pit we were just I being was like hidden. what the fuck is going on so i like laws. i thought i lost connection <laughs> i like laws that have very uh that like obviously have a very specific origin story mm. um i like laws that are like okay one person did a thing and now this entire law had to be made because this person made such a fucking ruckus and i feel like that's basically our like every law we ever get yeah but this one is not only specific to mississippi it's also only specific to tyler town this is a city law okay wait it's specific to tyler where tyler town tyler town where what state mississippi mississippi (laughs) oh and it says it is unlawful to shave in the center of main street (laughs) and that's the entire text (laughs) There's nothing else. <laughs> you cannot shave in the center of Main Street. This is only in this town. Only in Tyler. Town. Like, this was such a specific situation that only this town had to deal with. <laughs> now, my question is, how specific are we talking? Is it okay to shave my face in the middle of town, or is that a no-no? Or is it You like- just can't shave. You can't shave anything. You can't shave other people or animals or your own arms. Or your yeah, you can't do anything. There's no shaving to be done. They crack down on the shaving part of this law. Now here's the other thing. Does this also count if you have a barber shop on Main Street? Are you do you have to move locations no, to no, no, abide no. by the law? The or cen- is it, like- it said the center of Main Street, right? Yeah, but that can that can be loose. What if you set up a food truck? But instead of a food truck, you just shave people. Yeah, what if there's like a some kind there's of art fest? There's actually one of those in Denton. Like, what if there's a hair festival? Yeah, that's actually a thing here. Yeah. I had to do outdoor hair once. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. It's like you go under a tent right, and you're like, hey, are you invented homeless? invented a new subject, but little did he know. Let me cut your hair. Oh, that's the point of him. I mean, Welcome back to the hair podcast. I'm going to explain yeah. to you my entire certification for cosmetology yeah cyan's actually a certified hairstylist she's gonna use all the big words she learned it's at hair college do you all know about the cuticles no i don't do you all know about follicles i don't nope i know a lot about viruses now i know a lot about skin infections ha nice and nail infections can i diagnose hmm. you with alopecia (laughs) Hey, little mama, can I? <laughs> I would like to discuss the origins of this law, because I think I figured it out. Oh, oh, really? Have you done research on the side? No, this is from my psychic abilities as God. Yeah, Knife you're, God. Okay, you're right. You can't just say all Knife, God. Yeah. You're, well, it's specific, specifically as knife God, because razors are a type of knife. Okay, all right, I so, see. Using my knife god powers, I see that uh, Johnny Frockenseed was the man who caught who was the man who caused this law to be made, uh, and he was shaving in the middle of town when he saw uh, his ex, and that just caused him to go on a murderous rampage, and. He, he killed everyone with just everyone. The town is empty now. It's actually, it's amazing the law passed considering everyone in town died. <laughs> Johnny Frockenseed himself passed it. Yeah. No, no. He, he, he immediately killed himself afterwards. Oh. Um, after realizing what he had, do- after realizing what he had done. Okay. And then um, years later, and, settlers and, came to the village and they just saw one letter on the tree bark and it just said, we were shaved. 
it was three words and not one letter. Yeah, it was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were shaved. And, uh, yeah, John, Johnny Frockenseed, he, uh... <laughs> I mean, now, is he is he a distant every, relative of some other kind of yeah, Johnny yeah. Seed, like so of the know, apple variety? Know. Maybe does does he know anybody who <laughs> likes apples? <laughs> but um, no, yeah, he was he was everyone in town hated him and hated him anyways. They needed an excuse to wipe his name from the town slate. Yeah, and they did that after they, they were killed. Yeah, because there was no town slate anymore. Yeah, okay. So sure. is it just a ghost town now and it's just like how who yeah, made the law? Who made the law? No, if they all died. This isn't That's the mystery, Cyan. This is That's a, the mystery. This is a law in the mystic way. It's not written anywhere, but if you go to the center of the town and you shave, then the ghost of Johnny Frockenseed I don't know, pushes you into the fountain or something. <laughs> and no, it's he, really he, mean and rude. He, he yanks yeah, all your hair it's, out. It's like one of those Bloody Mary again. type situations. Yeah. Johnny Frankenstein, Johnny Frankenstein, and it has to be on Johnny the third full month, the third full moon of any month. <laughs> Don't say his name into a salon mirror three times. He'll spray yeah. shaving cream on your face. Yeah, don't 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 write Johnny Frankenstein and shaving cream in the middle of that town square. <laughs> uh, it has to it has to specifically be Barbersol. Uh, did he kill Tyler? Did he kill Tyler Town himself as well? It was Tyler's uh, town. Tyler Town uh, did survive the initial massacre, but he had did it through surviving in a bunker, which he had improperly planned and locked himself inside of. That's unfortunate. Well, yeah, we well we all knew yeah. when we elected Mayor Town to you know. <laughs> to run the place like we all knew he wasn't that smart like he didn't have the rest like the best planning skills honestly he like didn't. he wasn't that great at it but he was cool he was a cool guy yeah he was definitely a really cool guy he was so chill like sure. no like the town got way chill like tyler tyler was a good mayor oh it was originally called georgetown but then they were like wait tyler's got... way cooler than george was yeah george like yeah. got impeached and they were like here's tyler George George was like setting curfews and stuff for like adults. Yeah, like if you're 18, you have to be inside by nine, and I'm like nine. Yeah. And he was yeah, like, if you're if you're 18 or older, you have to be inside by five. Yeah, exactly. And like he was making like nobody dance, no dancing in this town. And I heard yeah. that started no. some kind of movie, but I I've never seen it. Yeah, cats that, don't dance. I love that movie. Yeah, that's that must be it. <laughs> <laughs> Hacksaw Ridge, the dancing movie. <laughs> Uh, oh, you're actually, talking about Happy Feet, I've, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Fucking Happy Feet literally is just a retelling of Footloose. It really is. But it's penguins. Yeah. Hey. Ah, it's penguins. <laughs> and I think it had a message about deforestation or something. I, I think they're that in was Antarctica. In there. there aren't forests. de antarctica yes, it did have a glo- it did have like a global climate thing. Yeah, a yeah. Global? That's the message. A, a global climate change. I'm think. Who's that one barber that actually like was the musical, and did the thing that Sam said? Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. You're just saying oh. it's just Sweeney Todd, is what you're saying basically. <laughs> but his name is Johnny Frockenseed, <laughs> which is not which as is cool a much as Sweeney scarier Todd. name. <laughs> yeah. Sweeney Todd doesn't exist in this universe. Oh. Okay. We're talking about real life, Brett. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect the real events Johnny of Frost. the world. Yeah. Well, y'all, I think we pretty much hit that nail on the head. Yeah, I think that case is uh, closed. We can close the briefcase on that one. Uh, adjourned. Adjourned, everyone. We are the three, adjourned. the three court people. What were we called? The council. Of, um, the council. The, the three. The three. The Council of Three Judges. In the Council of Three Judges, guilty or nay, we say... Well, we didn't really solve it like that. We deem Johnny Frockenseed guilty on all charges. And he's dead, but, you know... It's still good for PR to announce him guilty. I am Knife God. The Knife God will punish him from beyond the grave. Exactly. I hope you like knives. (laughs) I'm Vlad Zipukier. And with that, let's get on to the next segment. <laughs> <laughs> well, we spent 15 Thanks minutes Thanks for just on blatantly this. ignoring my uh, 
what we do in the shadows. You're welcome. Uh, what we do in the shower. <laughs> yeah, what we. Here we go. This is what we do in the shower. What we do in the shallow end of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Scrub dub dub in the blub and tub. In the blub and tub, they say. So I, fa- I found this uh, shower thought from Tumblr, the Shower Thoughts official Tumblr. And it says, maybe the reason supervillains always spill their evil plan is because they want someone to talk to. They just need someone to talk to. <laughs> yeah. They just, they just like, they're lonely. They're misunderstood. In buying all these minions and these super weapons and this fortress, they didn't ever think to buy a therapist. Yeah, they didn't think to buy a friend. They didn't think to buy a friend. And that's, I mean, it's, it's truly sad. You know, this is how these... Let's face it. One is the loneliest, loneliest number, number you can ever do. Ever do. Two. That's... No. Oh. <laughs> is it the number after one? It is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, three <laughs> birds of paradise. Two plus one is three. That's the next number after two. Four calling birds, five French hens. Two Six turtle, turtle doves, doves and a doves. partridge in a pear tree. In a pear tree. <laughs> On the Man, sixth I love the day of Christmas, <laughs> my true love gave to me. You know, you sound just like the Beatles. <laughs> Six yeah, just like the Beatles. fucking cocks. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Five more cocks. Four more cocks. Three and, more. All cocks. right. And what if the villains just? What if it's too many? <laughs> it's too many. I the don't tr- want all of these. <laughs> Maybe. The the true the true the true villain of the the true villain was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they, that's what they teach in our intensive villain care unit. Is yeah, that's what they that's what they teach in uh, One Piece. Yeah, the true. I mean, isn't the the true One Piece or the true demons that you're facing were the friends that you made along the way. And now we got to make new friends so you can be cool and not try to destroy our city with your giant shoe. Your just giant shoe that you made. He's yeah. one of the wacky Okay, but let's be, let's be real. Maybe the whole, like, Dragon Ball Z has a pretty good, uh, you know, example of this in Vegeta. I mean, it always ends you- with, like, all the first villains of, like, every anime, like, become the good guys, like, teammates eventually. Right? Yeah. And it's a real good arc. Like, I mean, Soul Eater, you had the, um... I mean... You had Krona. Uh, Dragon Ball, you had Vegeta. But also, in Dragon Ball, you had Piccolo first, so, like... You had what? Piccolo was a villain first. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Piccolo was a villain. Piccolo mm-hmm. was a villain who died and had a son also named Piccolo who grew up to come kill Goku. What, what, why was he a villain? What did he want to accomplish again? I've never seen an episode of Dragon Ball, actually. I don't remember. I haven't watched Dragon Ball in a while. Um, Brett, uh, the villains you know of Dragon Naruto Ball, better than all of us. Is there one in that? Um, Yeah, Garo was like I think... the first big enemy, and then he became That's... friends with oh. Naruto. Zabuza re- redeemed himself. Yeah, Zabuza redeemed himself. Which is weird. But it worked. It but definitely it worked, worked out like that. Yeah. And I think Zabuza had a pretty good character arc. Didn't like Atachi. <laughs> like Yeah, Atachi was <laughs> <laughs> Revealed like later, Wait, like what? oh, Atachi is like the best guy. Yeah, like Atachi is like the coolest dude. <laughs> and you're like, oh, and like, how do you forgive someone for killing an entire clan? But they presented it in a way where it was like, oh, okay, I yeah. guess he's the good guy. Like he, they presented Wait, it in a way where they you're do. Like, yeah, I, like I haven't seen any of this. I think, I think like the Uchiha <laughs> clan was planning an uprising against like the government or something like that. Yeah, and they were like, "Atachi, oh. you're our best man. You got to kill your family so this uprising doesn't tear our ninja world apart." And he was like, "I mean, yeah, sure. Like I'm the best, I guess." And so he did it, but he saved his brother. And it wasn't because, you know, he was like, uh, to, but, you know, because I hate you. To test my abilities. Yeah. It was because he actually, he loved Sasuke so much he couldn't kill him. And that was Is it. that actually? That's actually, that's actually what went down. And it's the most BS thing, because now I feel like this, the, these feelings for a character that killed his entire family. 
Yeah, and it's pretty messed up. You're just like, oh, I feel bad for Itachi, and now I like him. And that sucks. Weird. Because for the past huh. 12 years of my life, <laughs> sure thought he was a bad guy. Sure thought since uh, Fighting Dreamers was the intro, he was a bad guy. Yeah, since Fighting... we. Uh, but like, I started um, to feel that like when like, like Sasuke and Itachi start fighting, and you're like, oh, wait, this is sad. Like, the first time, like, in Shippuden or Sasuke, like, it's like, I'm gonna fight you, Itachi. You know what? I just like, instead of, of getting this feeling, like, yeah, ever you're just where like, this does happen. You just get this feeling of, like, oh, wait a minute. No, I don't want to watch them fight. Avatar The Last Airbender has it happen with Zuko. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what? That is, like, one of the best Which, ones. Which, let's be, let's face it, greatest anime ever. It's a pretty great animated series. It's a really good animated series. <laughs> I don't... I, I mean, like, technically, Japanese animations are anime, you know? Like, Let's not get into semantics here. It's genuinely one of the greatest shows. It is. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but, uh, but these first arcs, they would be so shortened so much if they just, you know, went up, oh, gave him a hug. Let me listen to your feelings. Let me listen to your troubles. Yeah. And then the villain's like, oh, yeah, I'll just do that. And then they do, and then they're the just villain just chill. Break, the villain breaks down in their arms. It's a bonding moment. They're like, I just, my mom was never there. Yeah, you just get the flash and pass for character development. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. You know what? I fucking watch a show like that. I watch a show where, like, they get to the big confrontation with the big bad guy, and the main character, like, or at least for the first arc, the main character knows... The, the, the main character is like, everyone stay back. I have to do this. Steven Universe. And then they just walk up Steven and give Universe. the bad guy like a big old hug. Yeah. Steven Universe. Steven like, Universe. It's okay. Uh, oh, I would yeah, like to right. buzz in the answer. Steven yeah. Universe. What is Steven Universe? The entirety of That's the show. Steven Universe. That's uh, a good Universe. show. And I like it. It is a good show. I've fallen off it. Yeah, I haven't seen it in I've, years. But I loved it when I watched it. I have it. fallen off it as well. I haven't watched it in a while. Too many high I've had stuff yeah. spoiled. Yeah, I've had stuff spoiled for me. Yeah, I mean, I work at Hot Topic, so, like, I just get to look <laughs> oh, at, like, yeah. the Steven Universe merch and be like, I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know all who I, any of these all characters are. I know is I, are. Lo- I, I, love, I love Peridot and I love Lapis. They're my two favorite characters. Mm. But I guess Lapis isn't, like, she, like, disappeared for a while, and she's... Lapis is, like, doing this, like edgy thing lapis is just like an edgy teenage girl i think she's fine. just trying to distance herself because like i mean abusive relationships suck i've had cup uh, quite a few friends in them and they a lot of times they come out and they try and just like distance themselves because they're afraid of getting hurt again and i can't blame them on that talk this about just Jasper. got real and yeah this just got real oh no, yeah uh, abusive relationships are uh no, they suck to be a part of. Yeah. This got really real, and I think this is probably more real than we had than we've like talked to each other in a while. I, I also mean, feel like you no. say that every single episode. Yeah, I feel like every time we have a deep like you said that like four times like a, a couple days ago when we were in Denton. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> we can't. I like, like every time being, we did anything, I just like, like being emotionally connected to my two best friends. I can't help. Just it. like any time we would be saying something stupid, and then like we would like compliment one of each other, then you'd be like, "We never get this deep." <laughs> 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 like any time I was like, "That was a good joke." Like you never get this deep. Full disclosure, I don't remember either of the last two episodes we recorded. Oh, no, I don't remember yeah. that fucking shit Same. about the last two but episodes. I, yeah, I do remember those themes in them. Uh, well, anyways, I guess Sam isn't allowed to be emotionally connected to his two best friends of 15 no, years. No, come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah, I don't Don't, I don't be know this like guy. that. I, I don't know this I guy. joke. I joke. <sighs> He's on, why are you mad? He's only game. Was that Borat? Was that a vine? I guess uh, we'll never know. Here's the last segment. <laughs> it was it was a vine. It's a hockey player. <laughs> this this dream comes from Jeb six eight eight seven on Reddit. I thought you said Jeb. Jeb Bush and I was himself. Like, what? The Jeb himself. Nobody likes Ted Cruz. Oh God. <laughs> that poster. Um. When I'm going through this, I want y'all to, like, picture yourselves 
in this thing. Okay. Right. All it's right. not long. Okay. Okay. Jep6887 says, I'm in my local sports center, which I guess is just like a rec center or something. Yeah, sure. Like a gym? Yeah, like a gym, I guess. It, okay. In front of me was a long table. I was in a chair, and someone was sitting next to me. There were also people on the sideline. On the other end of the table was Logan Paul. Uh, <laughs> oh. I don't like this no. sports center very much. I say, Logan Paul, you are charged with crimes against humanity. <laughs> <laughs> then the dream ends. That's it. <laughs> No, I like this dream. I want to be a part of this dream. I like this dream a I lot. I want to have this dream. Logan Paul, this is a... you will die. You have been charged with crimes against humanity. Logan Paul, you are glutton for punishment. <laughs> you will fall. Receive your divine judgment. Step forward you... and fall into the pit. You will be chained to the hellverse. <laughs> Logan Paul, you will die and be devoured by the demons of hell. Over and over for all eternity. <laughs> and Logan Paul's uh, like, we, wa- we dude. watched a very, very bad Bleach movie while we were up here, and this is what they while they were up here, and this is what they're referencing. Logan Paul's just like, saw, dude. <laughs> Logan Paul's like, no, oh, come on, dude, no, dude, don't do that, dude. Logan Paul's like, yeah, no, dude, it's just a joke. Logan, no, nah, dude, don't worry, it's just a, prank, it's just bro. a joke. It wasn't. Yeah, it's just a prank, Lo- bro. Logan Paul's like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> to my fans who expect better of me <laughs> I'm a good person And I'm better than this And I'm a good person And I'm sorry <laughs> Is what Logan Paul says was, Is I, his genuine apology uh, I always forget if Logan Paul Wait. or Jake Paul Was the one that did the death forest Yeah thing. Logan Paul's the suicide forest guy the, the, They're brothers so Yeah uh, I mean they're both they're both kind of trashy anyways, so No, they're both extremely terrible. But I don't think that's why he got the hell sentence, y'all. And I think we need to figure out. No, I think did. I know why Jake Paul or Logan Paul has the hell sentence. Yeah. It's because he's pushing 30 and he's wearing the haircut of a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> and it's very Wait, is upsetting. Is he almost 30? He's old. Look at his face. He has a man face. He has a man face and he has a man body and he has a little like fucking skater kid sixth grader haircut and it's fucking grody like i fucking always hated his haircut ever since he was like a viner that we didn't know was problematic i'm like i don't like you because you have a man face and a little boy haircut you look like a fuck like a little skater kid who's just like a little fucking asshole and you're 11 welcome to sixth grade you have a rip in your jeans and you think it's the hottest fucking shit and you fucking push this motherfucker's hair back and this balding motherfucker he's balding like oh my god Fucking Hello. Welcome ah. back to the roast feature yeah, <laughs> with Cyan Haskins. Welcome to the Comedy Central roast of. I mean, I can't argue with any of this because, like, I'm on science. I just hate like, when absolutely. men have little boy haircuts. I just hate it. Well, I hate if someone has a man face and then a child's haircut. He's he's being hip with the teens. He that's okay? what he's trying to do. He's trying because like fucking Jake Paul is nineteen or whatever, and Logan Paul is all forty seven and balding, <laughs> and he's trying to like oh I can't be I have to be cooler than my brother who's nineteen. I have to relate to nineteen year olds, so I have to be creepy, and like <laughs> act like a child, despite being a grown fucking adult. I gotta be a vlogger. Like, a YouTube vlogger, that is. I have to have this little boy's haircut and comb over to hide the fact that I'm balding. Are you saying this is a fashion crime? I'm a man. Is, this, is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, there's that, but like, I think one of the biggest transgressions he serves is that, like, besides having the moral backbone of a chocolate eclair. Um, I love Parks and Rec. Thank you, John Mulaney, for that one. Uh. <laughs> But, like, I think another problem is, like, yeah, there's, like, you can be silly and goofy and still be, like, mature and, like, respect other people. But then there's, but then there's what he does, which is just, like, obnoxiously bad? He's mentally and emotionally as old as his haircut. He's a permanent (laughs) 15-year-old. 
Yeah, the dude is like stuck at the age of 13. Well, he's one of those 13 year olds that is just like an eight year old. Like he literally acts like the kind of 13 year old. Like, you know, you look at him and I'm like, yeah, you just figured out what masturbation is and you're telling all your (laughs) friends about it, you know, like at lunch or whatever. And like you're eating no, the chicken think, nuggets, I, like, like that's like, you. He's the, he's the th- but you're an adult. No, he's the thir- he's the, he's the thirteen year old who like, I mean, well, let's face it, all of us have made offensive jokes and like comments when we were younger. Sure, it's just that he's the kid that like you'd see later on in life after you've grown up and like you regret those things you said, and so you're trying to make like, even though you know like the only people who heard him were like the people who have also grown up with you. And so you're you're all like you figured it out and you realize like hey that was offensive and I shouldn't do that. He's the person who just like you see him he keeps and you're on, like oh my god this dude had yeah, he just it's just like the dude is like digging himself a hole and he's like man I don't know why I'm down here. It's Logan, really dark and he just keeps digging Logan and Paul. he keeps digging and he keeps digging <laughs> until he like struck strikes rock bottom and he's like oh man, and he makes some joke, and then suddenly he's got dynamite, and he's digging himself a hole through the rock. (laughs) Logan Paul is like that one friend that you invite over to your sleepover, (laughs) like, and it's you and, like, three other friends, and then him, and he's just a fucking asshole the entire time, and every activity y'all try to do together, he's just a fucking dipshit about it, and he's like, sucks the fun. He's the vine where the guy's like, Kevin, watch the light, and he hits the light. He's that kid. He's He's the kid that hits the light. Like, he's that kid. Yeah. He's he's the one like he keeps making these jokes at all of your friends and you are like uncomfortable with but like you're scared if you say something against him he's like he's gonna call you he's like got a, like a weapon concealed <laughs> yeah oh I was gonna say he was gonna think you're like a wet blanket I didn't yeah. think he was gonna kill you no Logan Paul seems like the kid who like <laughs> is at your sleepover and it's like nine o'clock and he's like still kind of screaming at video games. And you're, you're like, hey, dude, can you, like, chill out because it's 9 o'clock and we're, like, 13? And he keeps yeah. screaming. And then the mom comes and is like, hey, mm. be quiet. And then he still keeps screaming. And then you're like, dude, what the fuck? And then your mom's like, you can never have friends over again. Like, he's that kid. He's the kid that, like, ruins your life yeah. because he's just a little fucking asshole. But he's still like that. And also, he's, like, 27 or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, 23. I have the feeling that he's weirdly young. He just looks like a fucking 30-year-old to me. He has no, what, an endless supply of racist and Holocaust jokes. Yeah, he Obviously. just won't he stop. He absolutely does. He's like the kid that, like, when you're all changing in the locker room in, like, gym class for the first time, he, like, pulls down his underwear and runs around the locker room and tries to rub his dick on people. And everyone's like, fucking stop. We're just trying to get changed so we can go to fucking gym class. Like, he's that kid. And he's like, oh, you're gay. I'm touching you with my dick, so you're gay. <laughs> like, he's that kid. I'm glad I never yeah, met he, that kid. I feel like he's. I feel like he's the guy, he's like... Yeah, I'm a re- I'm like he's I feel like he's the kid who's like, yeah, I don't really care I like gay people sh- are okay, but like it's weird. I don't want like, them to be public the- about it. Logan Paul's Yeah, only I don't want them to hold hands about it. And it's like, well, okay, I don't want you and your girlfriend to hold hands. Like <laughs> he's only 20. I thought I dad ass thought he was pushing 30. He looks so terrible. How old is he? 23. <laughs> <laughs> but like Look at him. He looks like fucking Michael Bolton's fucked up son. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) Like, look Uh, at him. Oh, God. Being homophobic and shitty really sucks the life out of you, huh? Being a shitty person really does age you, huh? Yeah, being a shitty person really does just, like, drain the life from you. This is Logan Ah. Paul. He's my age. He's blonde in that picture. He's the same age as me. And this is what he looks Wait, like. Wait, how old is he? Logan, or not Logan Paul, Jake Paul. His Jake. little brother is my age. And he... <sighs> Which one are we roasting? Logan Paul. We're roasting both of them, honestly. We're going after both of them, but Logan Paul is the focus. Logan Paul is the major, and so, Jake Paul is the minor right now. The alpha and Lo- the Logan Paul is the... Logan Paul is the older one, and he's what? 20... 23. 23? Some... Yeah. He's Brett's age. Yeah. I'm almost... Yeah, I mean, basically. Yeah, I turned 22 in, like, a few weeks. Yeah. <sighs> Ew, he even looked like a little shit as a kid. <laughs> I'm just looking at him. He kind of looks like the, the... He kind of does kid, look yeah. like that kid. He's like the if that kid grew up in, like, the evil timeline. Like, the Ellen DeGeneres kid. Ellen the Generous. Ellen the Generous. Which Ellen DeGeneres kid? She's had, like, multiple on. 
No, the Ellen the Generous kid. With the with the hoodie, with the ears. Snoop. What? The vine. What are you talking about? The vine about? of the kid, and it's like, Snoop, and he has the hoodie on, and the ears are out, and he does the slow whip. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I, I guess we forgot to say this at the beginning, but I guess from now for- on... From now on, these podcasts will require at least three hours of Vine viewing each day to understand. I was, yeah. I mean, I was just thinking about it as I was, I like looked up and I was like, "Oh, the episode's still going." I felt like we ended it, and I was just kind of talking We're, about Logan Paul. Now. We are easily approaching forty minutes, guys. Like I'm literally on my phone looking at photos of Logan Paul and just being like, "Ugh." Yeah, I didn't expect that segment to be more than a Logan Paul roast. So I'm glad. I mean, we did it. You're right. You, you were right. It absolutely wasn't more than that. That's all it's been for the past ten minutes. That's honestly, this is this was a great episode. I feel like we got a lot done. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this was a very casual and a very like, you're no, nah, we're not doing a podcast. You're just hanging out with us. That's what this episode was. You're just hey, you're, that's what pe- people come to listen to us. Us like just chat. We're just and, people. Like, hang out. We're not famous guys. Like just because we're famous, and we have thousands of fans. Like doesn't and mean so we're not much like money. you. Just because we have so much money, so much money, and like literally, we're getting fucked we by different girls every single day. I am not a part. No of? thoughts on it. Like I get fucked every day by different people, and mm-hmm. they all pay mm-hmm. me a million dollars each because of yep. how famous I am. Yep. I have a million and a half followers on Twitter, and I'm verified, and so are all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I have th- I'm verified but I have three followers I'm so famous that I got Every single one of my fans verified on Twitter Twitter? You mean the Thought Sauna Twitter? Yeah Thought Sauna under, under, underscore We have Twitter, we have Facebook, we have Discord We're ending this episode by the way if you didn't notice No I realize we're also very famous Yes we're also very sweaty, famous Sweaty 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 boys Sweaty sweaty, sweaty boys Money 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 Sweaty 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 boys Sweat sweat money bitches Twitter, Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Gmail. Twitter. Bring a towel. Punish Logan Paul. Let's all sweat on each other. <laughs>